for the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 2019 shopping weekend, I bought the AMD 3000G processor, Microsoft Windows 10 MD-100 certification practice tests, and the AMD Ryzen 7 2700 processor. Why did I buy two very different AMD processors for the same PC and a practice test for a certification that I still haven't taken yet? Watch this video to find out. My name is C.D. Reimer and welcome to my channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe and click on the notification bell to see more videos like this. First processor with the AMD Athlon 3000G budget processor for $50 that I pre-ordered at B&H. This processor wasn't part of a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. I found the B&H pre-order page, placed my order and posted a video before Thanksgiving Day. If you haven't seen that video, a link can be found in the card above or the description below. Amazon and Newegg still don't have the 3000G listed for sale two weeks after AMD started shipping to retailers. The ship date on the B&H pre-order page is still coming soon. In late January, I bought a Microsoft certification exam voucher with a free retake exam and a one-year expiration date. I made a video about that and how the new special offer by Microsoft was for a voucher with a free retake exam and a six-month expiration date. If you haven't seen that video, a link can be found in the card above or the description below. I still haven't taken the Windows 10 exam. The voucher expires in less than two months and the clock is ticking down. With that in mind, I bought the Vue Harrison official practice test for $66 with a 40% discount. The second processor that I bought and already installed in my PC was the Ryzen 7 2700 for $140. This processor was $300 when it first came out two years ago. Since the Ryzen 3000 processors came out earlier this year, the price for the 2700 varied from $170 to $190. Not surprisingly, the price dropped to $140 at Amazon on Thanksgiving Day. I ordered it, got it on Saturday, and had it overclock at 3.9 GHz on Sunday. So why did I pre-order the Athlon 3000G, a 2-core, 4-thread processor, and then order the Ryzen 7 2700, an 8-core, 16-thread processor for my PC? After 6 months with the Athlon 200GE, overclocked to 3.8 GHz, I needed a beefier processor to handle diversity to resolve for editing 1080p video and perhaps 4K video in the future. Diversity Resolve was the only program I had that could push the 200GE to its limit. A limit that I've been noticing for several months since I switched over from Mob ABI. A 5-man video now renders in less than a minute with 16 threads instead of 10 minutes with 4 threads. As for the 3000G, I'm planning to test it against the 200GE in future videos. Most reviews for the 3000G noted a 10% performance increase over the 200GE at base clock speeds. Note that the 3000G clocks in 300MHz faster than the 200GE. What if both processors overclock at the same speed? In my video covering the 3000G announcement, I predicted that the performance gain would be minimal at best. If you haven't seen that video, a link can be found in the card above or the description below. Other than these three deals, I didn't find much in the way of great deals on Amazon and Newegg. That's almost as bad as going to Fries Electronics on Black Friday. Links to third-party websites mentioned in this video can be found in a related article on my website at www.cdrimer.com. Thank you for watching.